Perusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Yuzia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned, and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it! Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Erusian army. With the capital under our control, Erusia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Our victory in Farbanti has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. Strider Squadron, you're cleared to taxi. The unidentified Ocean craft. This is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendlies? Over. This is Longcaster. 
Airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. Longcaster, are all of these really unknowns? It's a state of civil war. The Erosian army is fighting itself. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. We'll image process the unknowns caught in your camps to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up, well-centered image. Meanwhile, we just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. So you were the ones on the radio? We don't know our location. Give us orders. We have no orders, but we do have ID data. Check your TAC terminal. Something I'll never get used to. But tonight has been a total shock. The city under martial law. Gunfire and the roar of jets echoing through the streets. East Rider Squadron's IDs. Oh, and uh, hand me that sandwich.
I'm sure the boys listening upstairs will record it. The open declaration of war, expanding the front lines, was all the work of some young Russian officers. They were referred to as the radicals, but there was an unseen force guiding them. It was technology they borrowed from the Belkins. They actually went to war, the performance of the attack drones exceeded their wildest dreams. And they were incredibly clean, which got public opinion and the opportunists within the military on their side. They even manipulated the princess. The Belkin technology advanced UAV research within the Erosion Flight Test Center by at least 10 years. They used the flight data from a former ace pilot to create drone AI. To us, it's no different than magic or alchemy. Airplanes are meant to be flown by human beings. Those of you listening in, am I wrong? We're heading towards Grunder Park. Rendezvous point is a helipad on this man-made island. We'll ditch the car and take the helicopter from there. There are rumors of a military group calling itself the Free Erosions. They actually believe they're using robots to put it in the bloodshed. An unknown is blocking our scheduled route. No response. Got a bad feeling. So we're gonna eliminate it. It is not machines that make the decisions in words. It's people. Understand that. Thanks. We would have been toast. Captain Carl, we have a new rendezvous point. New coordinates are as follows. 263 Tango 4. One Niner Niner Delta Lima. Rescue team says hostiles are making the area too dangerous. Oh yeah, don't they know nowhere to see? Until we reach the exit. There's 
Unknown's attacking the girl's plane. Palmer, hold on tight. Lawcaster, permission to engage. Negative. What? They could be Ocean fighters. ID them ASAP. Shit. That's all we can do. ID complete. They're Russian fighters. What the hell is going on? Stay sharp. Uh-huh. Right. I'm shooting them down. Any complaints? Granted. Wilco. 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 Yeah, good work. Straight away. Side Anchorhead Bay. All aircraft, RTB, mission complete. All hostiles, huh?
In order to respond to the attack on the base, Cyclops has scrambled after being on standby. We'll head up too, once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. What did you say? Apparently, he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. I mean, I know it was chaos, but still. At any rate, the sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him crying. The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there. So now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets, and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave about working together for peace, I thought everyone felt the same as I did. I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Erugia. He was Erugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. I watch as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long 
long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. I tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. Just what did you see here?